Oh, 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 wicked gorgeous day. What's up, guys? How's it going, my friend? For it, the stash is back. We got Nala. Nala, where are you? Did we go for a car ride? I think it's where they do a motorcycle license course. Where not many people get it. I think a lot of people fail it, as they should. You know, definitely takes a lot of work to rip a motorcycle. Anyways, we're at Princess Auto, my favorite store, of course. We gotta pick up a few things. And then we're headed into Taylor's place with the Maverick. It's time to rip the tires off. So we're gonna use the excavator and the Maverick. I don't know how it's gonna work, but we're gonna figure it out. So let's go. Here we go. Ooh, should we throw this unit in the cart? We got some acetone, some hand wipes, some rubberized coating for the Maverick. I do need a new toolbox. Not today though. <sighs> Big old pry bar. Yeah, yeah. I always love the clearance section. Look at that, water pump, 74 bucks. Oh, no, that's a stabilizer, sorry. There it is, 699. bucks off. What else we got? An adjustable electric trailer dollar. That could be handy. Rose roller, air conditioner. We got the goods, Nala. We got the goods. No straps today, though. No straps. Hey, looks like my truck, but it's not. That's an older one, I think. There's no side, no side thing. I would love to get an RV like this. One of those little van ones. Bring a park it anywhere, pull the Maverick, do what you want. Anyways, thank you, Princess Auto. Let's go find Taylor and shred these tires. <laughs> looks like someone was already shredding tires in the parking lot. <laughs> Yes, I trim my beard. Yes, I have a mustache. Cause I was like, you know what? You know when you start trimming your beard? This is for the men. When you start trimming your beard, and all of a sudden you see that stash coming in, and you're like, I think I can do this. <laughs> That's where I was at today. I'm like, let's see if we can get through the day. And then after that, maybe we'll leave for a week or two. Anyways, hope you enjoyed that video from the weekend, the old uh, diaper party. I did not think it was gonna be 40 minutes long. Actually, I thought it was gonna be 45 minutes, but uh, Awesome crew, awesome people, great times. Can't wait to do it again. But today, it's time to wash this thing. I wish I washed it that night, but you know, I was kind of running out of time. Um, it is muddy, but this stuff's pretty thin. That's the stuff that's hard to get off, but it looks like it's not too, too bad. So it shouldn't be too, too bad to get off. So we're gonna go wash it. And then Taylor's working up the road. So we're gonna go see him. Maybe bring the tires off. I got some Super ATV 34 tires. I don't even know what kind they are. I think they're Warriors. Warrior XT or ATs. So, but they're 34 inch. These are 32s, so. Anyways, let's head over to the barn. Get this thing washed up. Get her looking good again. Look at this tree. She's cracking hard. I don't know if it was my fault because uh, I always hung the Maverick on that branch. It has been cracking for a number of years. So anyways, <clears throat> we got a chain from Princess Auto. Hooked her up to that rig and she's tight as crap. And it did actually close the gap quite a bit. But uh, I don't know what this chain's rated for. Anyways, I'm gonna give her another week or two and then probably tighten it up again. I don't know if I'm saving the tree or just extending its life a little bit, but hopefully save the tree. Cause these are quite old trees, so. Yeah, I really like this tree too. She's my hanging tree, but I guess I won't be hanging the Maverick off it anymore. Just gonna have to wash her over here. It's funny how high this has actually gotten from all the dirt that comes off the machines because we always just wash them right here too, right? Oh man, can't wait to get this thing cleaned up again. Also, I'm thinking don't order these hats from Amazon because this is how they show up. Just broken because they come in those little Amazon bags. But I'm thinking of making some 408 ones. I just got a whole bunch of Team 408 patches made. So yeah, I'm thinking of getting some made. Message me if you want one. Maybe making 10, just specialized edition. Not gonna put them on the website, just do a little private sale. Let me know. These are the 34s that are going on it. I think they'll look good. I got some general tires too. All the tires, why not, right? These are gonna be nice, so grab a little better. All right, let's get this thing washed up. Come on, girl. Got some air in the line.
wasn't going to do the full wash, but you know, you can't not do the full wash. You get it mostly clean, it's like, ah, might as well just do the whole thing. Much easier. I'd say let's uh, throw this stuff away and then we'll go see what Taylor's up to. Even after that hour wash, this thing still isn't clean. You gotta wash it, dry it, and then basically wash it again. Anyways, I got the Yankum, got some merch, GoPro, drone, some straps, the gate won't open. Let's roll out. Welcome to the job site. Oh yeah, just a gorge day here. So Aaron. Aaron and Taylor's brother. High school with these guys. Aaron lives here, he's just building a new house. Beauty spot. Not gonna tell you where it is. But uh, yeah, it's very hidden. I didn't even know this place existed. That's not far from me. Taylor knows me with dirt. <laughs> the dirt monster. Oh, Maverick looks good over there. You could probably throw an extra can of SC1 on it, but. Nice. Oh, we got a few shots of the excavator there. Taylor's just getting on the pile, throwing some wood up there. We'll get the drone up there and the GoPro and get these tires freaking smoking. Then we got to put the fronts and the backs. Get those smoking. Not today, but we'll do her on concrete or asphalt or something. I got to run over anything or hit any Chevys. Basically, we're going to attach it to the excavator bucket there. We'll throw the drone up. Got some wood up there, make her smoke all nicely. Got the Yankum rope there. Oh yeah, bud. Oh yeah. <laughs>
don't read it. Hold it. Ho, ho, ho. Well, we got one mostly bald tire. We got frickin' rubber of the yin yang. Just coated on there. Holy. <laughs> rubber on everything. We got the drone shot, so it was a bit of a pain in the ass to do. Uh, <laughs> uh, I got that for well, what do you think? Rubber's hot. Yeah, it was a bit of a pain in the butt to do, but we kind of yeah, figured it out. We, it. we still got some uh, meat on the tires. Plus, we still got the front tires. But yeah, I need to wash that off. And, uh, you know, it's all denial and error. It's all denial and error. That's how you got to figure it out. We didn't, uh, we didn't really have a plan. We we're kind of just winging it. This isn't really the most even surface. So on this side, we just dug like a foot and a half hole there. Like there's my leg down in there. This tire is not even worn because it wasn't even on anything. Yeah, that was well. good. And yeah, overall it's pretty good. We got some nice black dirt, so Aaron can always remember this uh, as a part of his house. I christened his foundation, I guess. Yeah, this is a big hole. Yeah. But yeah, this thing was starting to overheat too, so it, uh, right at the last second she slowed me down. So we'll let her cool down. I'm gonna head back home, cut the lot at the track. Maybe uh, knock some rubber off this thing. I don't know how they. Do, how do you do that? What's the best way to get rubber off? Pressure washer, Pressure probably. Washer. I know an F1, they get covered in rubber all the time. Yeah. And they you, seem to get it off pretty easy. But maybe wait till it cools down and rub it off. Yeah. Well, it'll cool down on the way home. Yeah. I thought I heard a little air leak when I stopped there. Like, oh. Yeah. So that one. Go. That one is uh, seen better days. Yeah. The inside. So. Yeah. That's why I like doing it on wood because the rocks and the asphalt, the concrete, they eat through the rubber real fast. Wood, it eats through it, but it's most lot better too. So. Another right. day, another set of tires. Let's head back to the track. It's a block cut. Here we go. Well, I made it back to the farm here. <laughs> We're losing air quick, I guess. I guess we poked through her at some some point. I don't know where, but I could have swore I heard some air coming through. That little chunk. Good thing we got more tires. We definitely have to burn these fronts off, though. We got that figured out maybe next week. Purrs like a kitten. Let's go. show oh got some black hands from these hoses i gotta uh secure them up they uh we had some zip ties there and they broke off and this thing works great got it super cheap but uh definitely needs work i think we got it for like 300 bucks or something i don't know super handy for the track but yeah i got a good chunk done front all to the back dinner time though gotta get home Hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's just kind of a random one. I wasn't really planning on making a video today, but uh, yeah, other than that, a fantastic day. Check out the links below. Leave lots of comments, share this on Facebook, and uh, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.